UCLA is a great team, and I thought they played really well tonight. And I knew going in that uh, we would have to, to play well ourselves to win. And, and I didn't think that we played our best, but you know, I've had to be confident UCLA. And there's that big advantage advantage in the game. What do you guys do? What do you need to do to ensure that you're playing a big role, especially in three hours? Traffic is a lot of circumstances. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you know, Lauren, that's really good. She's, she's obviously six seven and long. So that presents a lot of problems, and I think probably the bigger problems were on the offensive end for us. I mean, she really altered and blocked a lot of shots, and you know those are a lot of drives that we generation will come. Uh, Kevin, only 21 points outside of uh, JC and uh, Taylor. How do you get the rest of the team going when they're struggling? You know, whether it be creating shots or just hitting shots. How do you get the rest of the team going? Yeah, I mean, I thought JC and TT played aggressively and played really well, um, but I, I thought. The, Problem tonight is we had too many possessions where the ball was kind of stuck and couldn't move. And for us um, to be at our best on offense, it's when we get to what I like to call the next level of the offense. We just didn't get there enough tonight. And in that fourth quarter, where you're up, you're down 22, but then you bring it to a six-point game, what was the difference maker that you saw the change that turned that time? Well, what I told the team was that it just looked like for most of the night we were waiting for good things to happen. Instead of, because like when we had a couple things go right, then all of a sudden our energy, our focus, um, our intensity in the press was way up. Um, and so I think that's one of the biggest takeaways. Like we have to be prepared to make these things happen. And then we have to be prepared to, to play like that in the press and so forth, regardless of if we're not making shots or things aren't going our way, because that will kind of turn the tide. And like I said, we just sat around hope, hoping something good would happen. Kevin, you, you mentioned those drives, especially that second, third quarter, drives the best. I think you guys wanted to score on. Obviously, Lauren played a factor in that. What else do you feel like UCLA was doing that really kind of dictated what, or not even almost dictated, but just contested so many of those drives you guys have Yeah, I mean, I think mostly that. I mean, they did a good job of running her and Maddox getting contested shots. And, and, and I think in, in that case, we also missed um, a lot of like one more pass opportunities for, so maybe we thought we were taking a good shot, but there was one more pass for a better shot. And I thought we missed a lot of those opportunities tonight. Uh, for JC, just, I mean, I know it was in a loss, but you know, 30 points tonight, obviously, big night. Just uh, what, what was working for you well on the offensive end? And, and then as a team, you know, from your perspective, what, what do you guys need to improve on going forward here? Yeah, like, like Coach said, um, just the consistency of, of not only just our press, just in how hard we play. And like you said, not waiting for things to happen and making them happen is going to be huge emphasis on for us. And, and that's on that's on us. That's on me and TT. It's on everybody to uh, you know fix that and get better play. Casey, same with you. Um, in those tough moments in the fourth quarter, where you started to come back, you guys were up and two down. How are you making sure as a leader you're keeping the energy and making sure your team doesn't get down with yourself and keep the energy that you guys have? Yeah, that's a position we've been in, um, you know, many times. So we we never stop leading. We always fight till the end. Um, unfortunately, we put ourselves in positions, but um, you know, we, we never feel like we're out of the game. So just making sure we get through till the end. And why didn't Jason and Smith and Lucy help before you get into the big Big Ten play to help you guys see what you need to work on for the contradictory conference record? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that's why we play the schedule that we play. To uh, you know, if you play a bunch of teams that aren't going to really challenge you, you won't play five. So we've played a, a tough schedule in a, in a lot of different styles. And so I, I think we're learning a lot about ourselves. And you know, we still have a long way to go to, to be who I think we're capable of. So I think the, the key for us is to continue to get better each week. Uh, Coach Corey talked about the mental moment for her team, like the final quarter where uh, having that 22 point lead dwindle and they were able to fight through the loud crowd. On the other end of it, how do you take cutting that lead down so quickly into the next game. How are you able to use that as a moment to grow from it? Yeah, that's that's what, you know, we, that's like sort of what I, I was talking to them when I said, hey, we've got to make things, we got to make that happen instead of just waiting for it to happen. And so hopefully we can take that lesson away of, you know, pace, get to the next level of the offense, be relentless in the, in the press, all those things we were doing that we weren't doing when, they, when the guy, game got away from us for a little while there. So it, it's, you know, we, we got 
kind of right off and said, hey, keep doing what we do, stick to the plan, commit to our identity, and things, things will work out. You face now USC and UCLA, both coming in next year to the Big Ten. Both have really strong underclass groups leading the teams. What do you kind of see them bringing to the Big Ten now? Is it a situation where they can come in and compete and you know, near the top? Yeah, no, both both two really good programs with uh, a lot of talent and, and even more talent coming to both sides of the great classes this year as well. So they're going to be really good. Uh, they're going to be, you know, great programs in, in the Big Ten. I, don't, I already think we have the best conference in basketball, but there's clearly no question who's got the best one next year. And so and it's going to be tough. But uh, like I said, that's, that, that's why these kids come to Ohio State and compete against people like that. Uh, we'll be ready. Thank you. Kevin, when you look at USC and UCLA as well as the other coaches in the Big Ten coming in next year, does that potentially make you guys reassess how you approach the non-conference schedule again the year you're adding four really good programs in the conference that you'll be facing on a more regular basis? Yeah, it, it might. I mean, we still have to make some decisions as a conference, how many, how many games we're going to play and so forth. Uh, but it'll obviously be an incredible gauntlet next year uh, with the plethora of great players and great teams. Uh, Taylor. For you, um, when you guys are starting that run and you got a couple of big rebounds and kicked the ball out, I mean, how did those kinds of plays get you guys going? It's not just scoring. How important were those plays for you tonight? Uh, yeah, like Coach was saying, it's an issue when you wait for something to happen and build off of that. And now we don't have a lot of games that big of a goal, but I think now that helps when you know, we get a steal or a block or a big play, we're able to come together and build off of that, and I think that helps. And Kevin, two games in a row, Cody's kind of struggled out there. It seems like just not being like the aggressive Cody that we know. How do you kind of get her if things don't maybe go the way that she wants them off the, off the start to keep that focus, keep that aggression? Because she's so important to what you do. Yeah, no, we, we rely on her quite a bit. And, um, you know, I, I thought she she got some good shots around the basket that just didn't go in. And, you know, we just, I think, got to keep, just like it's reflective of the whole team, just make sure she continues to play within the offense and take those shots. Does that have so generally taken off? I'm sorry, I got one more question. Um, <laughs> it's announced tonight. Um, they're opening up the top for Iowa for more fans. Yeah. You're talking about the, the excitement of women's basketball. Uh, Corey talked about it as well. What does that say about the sport for that game to have that whole shot open up to you? Yeah, no, it's uh, you know the, the game really took a big step I think last year, and we've carried over that momentum to this year. And I think specifically in this area. We've got great fans in Columbus who really support this team, and, and they want to see uh, us play against a, another talented, you know, really well-coached Iowa team. So it should be it should be a great night. For both Taylor and JC, we both we know how good you guys are in the press and how they're kind of energizing you guys, get you guys going offensively. But I think what eleven games in now, how have you seen the growth of you guys' half-court offensive game, and where do you where do you see you still need improvement in that area? Defensively. Offensively. Um, yeah, I think we rely on our press a lot. Um, we like to go fast, our pace is fast, so any trans transition buckets, um, you know, we like to get those. But as far as um, our half court goes, getting better every day. We practice a lot in practice and, and uh, repetitiveness, and we got some newcomers too, and I think they're starting to get comfortable. Yeah, on top of that, I think we're a pretty versatile team for coming on press, so as long as we're taking great shots, practice those shots, and make, making that for passion. So. Cody, you said it we've just been talking a lot about half court defense this season and staying focused. It looked like it, at some times your defense was really, or your half court defense was working better than its past at some points this game. Can you just talk about that? Have you seen it improve these over these last days of games and just really been improving? Yeah, uh, I think that's on us. I think uh, we have it in us to be really good in, in our press and in half court defense um, and in transition defense. Those are some things that we know we need to improve on and we will go back and watch and, and uh, like you said, see if we can get better on. Yeah, I think we have some good stretches and we have some bad stretches, but we play aggressively and like UCLA, we have to do a lot of things for them so we can do that. And then one final question, where are we all here? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for being here.